90 minutes a week is the new limit for contact during high school football practice starting this fall. The rule stems from a national task force and was just adopted by the state's Interscholastic Athletic Association, which oversees all school sports. They're looking to minimize the rising number of concussions and concerns over safety. We look at all injury factors uh, relative to different sports. Concussions has been a constant in all of the sports uh, that required us to look at uh, what we can do to help prevent it. The recommendation from the National Federation is to have uh, no greater than 90 minutes in a week, but uh, no more than 30 minutes per day, uh, uh, two to three days a week. This does not uh, apply to the preseason. And it's that stipulation that has sports medicine doctors raising an eyebrow. I don't think it's going far enough. I think it's a good first step, but I think, you know, it, it should extend down uh, in some form to the preseason. As the head of the concussion program at St. Peter's Sports Medicine Institute, Dr. Goodman says collision during preseason practice yields a fair amount of head injuries. You can get a concussion from, you know, contact to the head, but you can also get it from basically contact to the body that results in an impulsive force to the head, like whiplash. During the preseason, they realize that there has to be more skills uh, taught, more time has to be spent on tackling and, and contact drills. Which is why Jack DuBois, who oversees interscholastic football for New Jersey, says it's important to keep those fundamentals during that time. Good job. Good. Good. Stay low, good. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. There it is. A time he says kids are cutting their teeth and getting in shape. So far, everyone seems to be on board. I'm in total support of it. I think it's a good rule. We go at St. Peter's full contact about 10 minutes a week. So we'll never broach, you know, the 90-minute uh, rule. Up until now, there was no limit on the amount of contact during practice each week. It was left up to the discretion of each coach. So you could stay within the 90 minutes and run a horrible practice and put kids in harm's way. So, you know, this is one guideline. This is one step. I think there are a lot of other components that go into, you know, making a practice and an environment safe for a football player. It's not saying that we're looking out uh, for the health and safety of our, our student athletes, that we're really doing what we need to do to look out for the health and safety of our kids. The new rule goes into effect after the first football game of the 2015 season. In Somerset, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.